Here we are at the front of our machine and what we want to do is we're going to change the paper. So we're going to open the door of our machine by simply we'll turn the key. We'll turn the key and pull the handle down. Then we'll open the door and on the inside of the door is the control panel. So we're going to push the white button and that'll bring up the menus on the other side on the outside of the machine that we'll use to change our paper roll. Now that we've brought up the user menu, we'll go up here to the filter paper install and we'll push that button. Now what the machine's doing is it's lifting the clamshell in the back behind the guard into the open position. So now we can install our new paper roll. The first thing we'll talk about is the paper roll. We'll talk about how it threads through the machine under this arm, across the brew surface, and eventually exits through the base of the machine. In the event that we were installing a new paper roll, what we would do is we would tear the paper, lift the silver arm, and pull the paper through into the base of the machine. When you start with a new roll, simply strip the plastic off and tear the paper. Make sure that the paper is going to the left of the machine. Rotate this holder out, put the paper over the back arm, slide the cardboard over the front arm, and then just pull down. Just simply pull down and the paper will thread on that back arm. Then rotate your holder back in place and prepare to thread under the arm located below. So now that your paper's loaded, we want to get it under this arm right here. So what we'll do, we'll put a bend in the paper, put it around the arm, work it into the back of the machine. Now it's under the arm. Next, push it through underneath the silver arm, grab the silver arm and lift it. And with your other hand, pull your paper through until it touches the base of the machine. Now the paper is under both rollers, the front one and the back one. Always check to make sure that you're under the rollers. Now that your paper's threaded and it's coming through to touch the base of your machine, if you're using a catch bin underneath, you'll have a collar like this and your collar will be sit right inside of here. Okay. So, and you want to make sure that your paper passes cleanly through the collar. If you're using the collar method and the catch bin underneath of the machine, then what you'll have is you'll have this large funnel like this. So this funnel goes in the machine and the brown tubes in the back, these tubes right here, they go inside of the funnel. So you'll simply take your paper, take your, your brown tubes in the back and then make sure that the paper slips cleanly through the funnel and that the tubes are inside. If you're not using a funnel, if you're using an internal catch bin, then that bin would then go right inside the base of your machine and you would take your brown hoses and put them inside of the base of your machine, just like that. Make sure that your paper is free to gather in the base of the machine. The next thing that we'll put in place is the guard. Now the guard has a small aluminum bracket on the back of it and this bracket right here meets up with this lip right here. And the guard simply goes, the hoses pass through the side of the guard, we slip it down in and then we make sure that our bracket on the back grabs that lip. Just like that. Now that our guard is in place, We'll close the door, latch the handle, and we'll follow the instructions. And we'll press here because we're done. Now the machine's asking us, did you replace the filter paper with a new roll? And we'll tell it, yes, we did. The machine wants to know that so it knows approximately how many brews it's going to get on this new roll of paper. Now that we're done changing the filter paper, we can push exit service mode. And that will bring us back to the user mode. 